Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. It's about that time, tennis fans. Roland Garros is officially upon us and main draw play is gonna begin on Sunday. So it's time to take stock of what we learned on the road to Roland Garros so that we may be fully prepared on Sunday when the first balls are struck. So here we go, our top five storylines to watch out for. Number one, Rafa and Novak. The favorites, of course, number one and number two. Novak Djokovic said it himself on Sunday in Rome. Rafa Nadal is the number one favorite, without a doubt, and that's the way it should be. Nadal is an 11-time champion and the greatest clay court player in the history of the game. But Djokovic is a sturdy number two favorite and the player who holds three of the four Grand Slams at the moment. Number two, Naomi Osaka's Grand Slam winning streak. Now, Naomi is the first woman to win her first two major titles back to back, and she is the world number one in top seed heading into Roland Garros. But clay is not her best surface, and she's had a few injury struggles the last month that could make things a little more tough in Paris. Number three, the return of Roger and Serena. These former champs are already causing a lot of excitement in Paris. This year, we celebrate the 10-year anniversary of Federer's completion of the career Grand Slam and his one and only Roland Garros title. In meantime, three-time champion Serena Williams looks to impose herself on a very deep field littered with talent and, by the way, youth. Can the 37-year-old, who holds a 63-12 lifetime record in Paris and has reached the final in three of her last five appearances, actually make an impact? We're dying to find out. Number four, the WTA's Queens of Clay. Now we talked about Serena and Naomi, but many feel that Simona Halep, Kiki Burtons, and Karolina Pliskova are actually the best clay quarters in the WTA at this moment, and therefore the most likely to come away with the title. Halep is the defending champ and is a consistent force on the clay. Burtons and Pliskova were the winners in Madrid and Rome, respectively, each is a top four seed, and all three of these women are potential title winners. And number five, the team dream. Last but not least, we have to look at last year's runner-up Dominique team as a contender on the men's side. The Austrian has notched wins over Nadal on clay in each of the last four seasons, which by the way is no small feat, and he's the player that nobody wants to see in their half of the draw. But team isn't the only potential threat. So there you have it, your top five Roland Garros storylines to get you primed for what promises to be one of the most epic French Opens in history. What do you guys think? Is there anything else we should be talking about? Be a part of the conversation and drop your two cents in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Tennis Now TV and we will see you next time.